Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. <laughs> Hi, thank you guys and welcome to the Valder BB Show as I talk to people across America on an FM platform and on social media. And today we're going to talk about what else, COVID and back to school. If I can start with you guys, who wants to give me the, what are we dealing with going back to school? How about you, Charles? Well, we conducted a survey of more than a thousand public school teachers all across America to capture, as you just said, kind of what, what we're dealing with. And as you can imagine, this is a school year unlike any other. Three quarters of teachers reported that they find themselves now in a new and challenging environment, whether that is delivering instruction online only, in which case teachers need technology to be able to deliver their lessons through remote instruction, or whether that's in a hybrid environment where teachers have some uh, in-person, in-class time, and in which case they often need uh, cleaning supplies and PPE, whether hand sanitizers or air filters. And it's because of needs like these that teachers have right now that it's so essential for people to go to Donors Choose, a nonprofit uh, site where teachers create project requests and donors can choose the teacher requests that they want to support. Amanda, would you like to chime in here? Because I know you're a teacher. Yes, I am. I am a teacher in the Chicago Public Schools, and this has been a major adjustment for us. I personally am online only right now, and eventually we'll move to a hybrid model. And there are a lot of things that teachers need and that their students need. So some of the things that we've been dealing with have to do with technology and then the lack of supplies like crayons, pencils, notebooks. So I've really utilized DonorsChoose.org to post projects and get funding for those materials that my students critically need. Going back to your environment, uh, Amanda, I'd be uh, remiss if I didn't ask you, do you feel safe? Do you feel safe for your students? You know, at this point in time, we are online only, so we have not returned to the classroom at all. We do have concerns about the case numbers in our area and what it will take for us to be able to make a safe return when it is time. And so that's where DonorsChoose.org is critical because we're able to also create projects to get that PPE and cleaning supplies that we'll need to ensure everyone's safety when it is time for us to return. I'll ask you, Charles, were you surprised at any of the uh, needs or requests uh, that you were getting from the teachers? Well, the requests that teachers create on our site range far and wide. I'll, I'll tell you a finding from our survey that was sobering, and, and that was um, teachers of our most vulnerable students, uh, students in low-income communities, reporting that their students had a much harder time um, connecting in to remote instruction and, and participating in online learning. And it just underscores the urgency of the needs that teachers are creating on Donors Choose for the materials that their kids need to be able to keep learning during the pandemic. When you talk about uh, uh, low-income kids being able to come on the network, are they missing any other tools, did you find out, or are they all well-equipped? Well, I think a lot of districts are doing their darndest to provide devices. Um, we've actually seen a lot of teachers requesting uh, listening devices, including headphones, so that students uh, can concentrate. Maybe their district has provided them with a, a Chromebook or a tablet, uh, but they may need um, an ability to concentrate uh, in, in a cozy household. And so even where districts are providing some of the fundamentals, there are needs that teachers identify that would be hard for anyone to anticipate. And finally, if, if my listening audience uh, wants to help make, facilitate a good school year, can the average person help? Someone can give as little as $1 to a teacher request of their choice on donorschoose.org and they will still hear back from the teacher they chose to help and see the impact of their gift. Amanda, I'm going to wrap up with you. You're a teacher. You're representing a lot of people here because I've never heard teacher on the lips of so many people as this time in the COVID pandemic. What, what advice do you give parents who, even though their kid may be doing distance learning, they're, they're, it's really challenging for them? 
It is a challenging experience for many parents. And so I encourage them to reach out to their child's teacher. I know that teachers are working really, really hard to do whatever they can to support their students. And it will take two-way communication, open and honest communication for us to collaborate together and really help our students make progress with their learning at this difficult time. I want to thank my guest today, Charles Bass. He's the founder and CEO of Donors Choice, and Amanda, she's a bilingual teacher in the Chicago Public Schools. Thank you guys so very much at this very critical time. My phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder Beebe Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder Beebe Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <music>